Yo, what's good, fellas? Um, yeah, I just found out I was recording for like four minutes and the audio was not capturing, so I'm gonna redo the whole intro. <laughs> and that would have been bad if I got into the video and I did all that and found out my audio was not being captured. It would have been time. It would have been time. There would be no video today. <laughs> I'll tell you that. But anyway, um, I feel like this is a good time, especially now that chapter four is about to drop and the leaks are about to drop. So if you guys are interested in reacting to the chapter four leaks with me, put on the post notification, hit that bell and everything so you guys know when I go live because it could be any time. Last chapter, it was at 2 a.m. Yeah, it was at 2 a.m. So I launched up the stream at 2 a.m. and we was having a good time until like four. We talked until like four, bro two hours so yeah <laughs> chapter four we don't know when it's gonna drop but as soon as it's gonna drop it will be on this channel so make sure you're here and on time but anyway i want to go over the interesting theory about boruto having sage mode now we did leave off on a like a cliffhanger in chapter three when boruto did summon those toads now it could have been cash and koji it could have been Boruto just summoning them himself and i thought it was just koji you know because they was communicating with boruto one was communicating with him, he was talking to him like dead ass talking, a talking frog. So I was like, either they used the toads as a form of communication somehow, like walkie talkies, or that toad could just be Koji himself. Now both of the theories make sense. Boruto summoning the toads and them just using them as a walkie talkie, or the toad being Koji himself. So now since that chapter, everybody thinks Koji is the new master of Boruto and Sasuke, he just in the dirt somewhere. And I did say it did make sense for Boruto to have two masters because of Boruto's proficiency with lightning nature and wind nature. And as much as I want to deny it, Boruto having sage mode does make sense because that means he mastered nature energy. And if you guys didn't know, nature energy could be broken. It could be broken in the right hands. Not to say Naruto's not the right hands, but I feel like Boruto's sage mode will be different. You see, nature energy is different from regular chakra. It's much more harder to absorb. You see, that thing that would make nature energy useful against guys like Kawaki and which Boruto is going to have to face off in the future is that the karma can only absorb techniques using chakra. Now nature energy, energy that is absorbed from the atmosphere, the environment around you, it can't really be absorbed. Boruto would have to find out a way to use nature energy to bypass Kawaki's absorption ability. Now you would actually have to take that nature energy and kind of infuse it with your own chakra to make Senjutsu which is much more harder to absorb than regular ninjutsu. So it's the fact that he could take some of that and kind of infuse it into his own technique. Therefore, making sage powers kind of useful in his upcoming fights, I'm not gonna lie. There's also the theory that Boruto has already mastered sage jutsu, but he doesn't show any signs of being in sage mode because he perfected it to a point where he shows no signs of being in sage mode. So as you guys know, and I hope you guys know this, the more you master sage mode, the less you inherit toad traits. Like you see Jirai sage mode, he had warts all over his nose, he had a fat nose, his fingers, toes resembled a frog. That's imperfect sage mode. You see Naruto, he mastered sage mode, as so we would think, because he didn't have anything besides his eye, nothing that resembled a frog. Boruto could have mastered to a point where he showed no traits. He showed no signs. That could be a possibility. But I'm not going to hold you any longer. As usual, Naruto explained. His channel link will be in the description below. Make sure you guys go check that out. If you leave a like on this video, you got to leave a like on that video. You know how we do it on this channel, bro. Y'all not new at this point. So let's get right into the video. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Naruto explaining here. Bring you guys right. another let's see, let's see. Vortex discussion. Today, I want to talk to you guys about a major implication that we got in the last Boruto manga chapter, which is the fact that Boruto Zamaki is not only much stronger than before, but the fact that he's for sure toad summonings in combat and in yeah, right here, right here. The thing is, Boruto could have summoned these himself. And if that's the case, him learning Sage Juicer from Koji makes more sense. I mean, Boruto already knew how to summon, but he doesn't have a contract with the Toads. So he wouldn't be able to summon Toads unless he went to Mount Miyaboku or signed the scroll just like Naruto did in part one. You have to kind of make a contract with them in order to summon them. We know that. So if that's the case, there's no reason for me not to believe he doesn't know about or know Sage Juicer completely. These also could be artificial toads made by Amato, but that's not confirmed yet. 
Kiki Manor has led to many fans speculating on whether or not Boruto has somehow mastered Sage Mode during the three year time skip. A little foreshadowing right here. Okay, we got the little. What are these even called? <laughs> what, are, what are these even called? Now I get it though. I get it. You see, he's doing some type of fire ninjutsu right here. It looks, it looks like it. Fireball jutsu. That would be tough. That would be tough. I might be cooking right here. I might be cooking. You know how Naruto stored nature energy into the clones so he can go into Sage Mode whenever he wanted? He kind of used the clones as like a vessel to hold nature energy. So we know that's possible. And Boruto can definitely absorb. Well, I don't know if he can absorb nature energy with his karma. But if he could, he can use that as like a vessel to hold that nature energy. So he can definitely go into Sage Mode whenever he wants. Because as you know, when you absorb something with your karma, it is yours now. Just like in the tuning exams when Momoshiki absorbed all of Boruto's attacks from the scientific ninja to it, just use it against him. You can do that. So is there a way for karma marks to absorb nature energy? That's a question we have to answer. Or does he absorb nature energy through the karma and then infuse it with his own chakra to make senjutsu? Other than meditating to just draw nature energy more efficiently and probably faster. Between Boruto, Naruto Next Generations, and Boruto 2 Blue Vortex. I'll say it up front, while I have been vehemently against this idea in the past. So I was too, I'm not gonna lie. Times, I was definitely I was against that idea. I can't lie, time. bro. Now that this moment it didn't make sense to me. Context for how he's actually potentially gotten that sage mode because it looks like Kashin Koji is alive. I do believe that this is actually something that has taken place in the story and in today's video. We're not only going to explain the foreshadowing for Boruto to learning sage mode but we'll also explore why narratively this makes the most sense for the story itself so it does make sense i can't lie it makes sense now mode, that i think about it right up front with a couple of the most important signs of foreshadowing that we've seen in universe as we were told in naruto's manga in order to even attempt to do sage mode training it's required for you to possess a large amount of chakra a enormous yeah. amount of chakra and, and that's why i said even if Boruto did learn how to use Sage Mode, he still wouldn't be as good as Naruto at it. Naruto has trained Sage Mode for years. Mind you, nature energy is totally different from regular chakra. You would have to start from the basics, the ground, and learn. It doesn't matter how gifted you are and how much of a genius you are. For Boruto to learn it in his base mode would have to start from the basics just like everybody else and learn how to do it. You know, from the rubbing the oil. Yeah, no, rubbing the oil. When Naruto would rub an oil on his skin, you know, back then. Yeah, he would have to learn it from then. But he does have the potential to surpass Naruto with it. I'm also not sure if the Otsuki even know about nature energy because it has nothing to do with chakra at all. It's from the natural sources of the earth. It's like a spirit bomb. You know, it's like a spirit bomb. They probably do. They probably do. If that's the case, Boruto could learn more about it just by activating his karma and gaining all that knowledge from Momoshigi. And without it, you can't even hope to complete the training properly. Boruto's chakra reserves, they're not as large as Naruto's. In no way am I saying that. That's why Naruto's Boruto. underrated. Naruto's underrated. The fact that Boruto has all this, he has the karma. He's even a Uzumaki. Now, Boruto's chakra reserves, they are they are large because he does have Uzumaki genes in him. But the fact that a matter of Naruto is just insane. I think it was part one. It was part one. The beginning, late Land of Ways arc. Where Kakashi said in base, Naruto naturally just had twice as much chakra as him, or maybe several times as much. It was either one of those two. I think it was several times as much chakra as him. But then with the QB amp, it was a hundred times. And I'm not even gonna go into KCM, because that's a whole nother like a whole nother game. To be able to share chakra with everybody in the Ninja Alliance, yeah, bro, that's a whole nother lane, bro. We won't cross Naruto there. Without karma, without the buffs, we never we seen anything like Naruto. Sorry. I'm not saying Boruto's chakra levels. Not even, not even glazing them, bro. Naruto's levels. However, it is worth noting that Naruto is an exception. But Boruto should have enough. He should have enough. Chakra pool. If Jiraiya could do it. <laughs> should he be what we if Minato could do it. Standard. But we'll touch on that later. For now, let's look at why people think that Boruto would only be able to master Sage Mode due to the buff that he got from Momoshiki giving him the karma. <laughs> Seal and board to becoming 100% of Suski now. Why those people mm. aren't just wrong, but they also they are wrong. paying attention to the story itself. The fact of the matter is, is that we were already told that Boruto's body met the requirements to learn Sage Mode well before Boruto even began starting to use any of the power from the Karma Seal. He didn't even know how to tap into any of that power when this happened. The problem comes from the fact that most people who 
say this about Boruto are likely the people that skipped the anime episode where this was stated. I think that there are times where people overestimate how high the bar is for an entry point to Sage Mode in terms of the chakra levels required. And it is. I think it's partly because a lot of people will need a lot of chakra directly with Naruto, or they'll associate with Hashirama because Naruto is the one that we've seen use Sage Mode in some of the most iconic fights in the series, and the most number of uses in the series. And Hashirama has one of the most impressive feats that come from somebody using Sage Mode when he was able to hold down the Ten Tails. However, and whole time we gotta even remember the only reason Minato was able to do it was because he had the other half of Karama. If he didn't have that, he probably wouldn't be able to do it. Jirai couldn't even master it. You had Kabuto and Hashirama. And of course, Koji. And Koji is just a clone. So Amato could make it so he has perfect Sage mode. Yeah, it don't even matter. He's artificial. So does he really count? I don't know. And if Boruto masters Sage mode to a point where we don't even know he's in it, he's always just in Sage mode. That's a crazy amp. That's a crazy amp. Because not only do you have another weapon, right? You have another weapon to use against the Otsuski, but it would make it harder for Momoshiki to take over Boruto's body because of that nature energy that's inside of him. Say he runs out of chakra. He has nature energy. And like I said, nature energy is different from regular chakra, so it's not like you could run out of it. So it's like having three sources of energy, your regular base chakra, your Senjutsu, and then you got the chakra from the Karma Seal. Same thing as Naruto had. We have Karama, his base energy, and then nature energy. That's not the correct thing to do. Naruto and Hashirama does make sense. I can't lie. The more I'm talking about it, the more it makes sense to me. Gosh. Oh man, we might be on to something, guys. Using Inokurama's chakra was able to produce 1,000 shadow clones in the first year. Yeah, that's insane. That's insane. This is after he spent a whole day and night training to master the shadow clone and bro, no diff to tuning, and he wasn't even a getting yet. That's insane. To undergo sage mode training and master it is clearly an elite. But yeah, there's Kabuto. no comparison between yeah. their sage mode and Naruto sage mode or Hashirama sage mode because those characters possess such a large amount of chakra on their own that they can draw in far more nature energy because they have a larger amount of chakra to equally balance out the amount of nature energy that they draw in. Boruto Definitely. Own, without the Karma Seal, he's never had Naruto's massive chakra reserves. Jiraiya possessed enough chakra to undergo sage mode training when he was younger than Boruto is currently. Kabuto, after pumping himself full of the DNA, of yeah, the you gotta get them. See, I to pump that. Yeah, they get the steroids out. They get the needle. Get you know, Kabuto didn't have enough training, chakra. But none of those yeah, they get the pumping himself. Close amount of chakra that someone like Naruto had, and that's important to keep in mind due to the bar for what counts as enormous chakra required for Sage Mode training. Not being a Naruto level, not being a Hashirama level, but being closer to what you saw with Jiraiya. The other reason Boruto learning Sage mode is something that works narratively is because Boruto now has a condition to fulfill. That's been mm. a huge aspect of him seeking out power. He lost his parents because Kawaki sealed them away. He lost his childhood and his identity because Kawaki yeah. stole it by using Ada Shinjutsu. That's Boruto crazy. pulling up into the village having a master of sage mode is another nod towards him being the oh, right man, I can't of wait. Boruto I can't wait. grandson of Minato the fourth Okage. They were two men who were perfect sages. Boruto mastering sage Mode is because of Kurama. Let's be honest. He showed no signs of knowing Sage Mode before he died. Let's just keep that a buck. And I don't even know how. Yo, you know what? They put, yo, they got that. Uh, hey, Kishimoto, bro. Kishimoto, bro. Ooh, you lucky. You lucky. I'll let you get away with Casey and Minato because those are two halves of the same entity. So if Naruto befriended Kurama's Yin side and then Minato had his Yang side. So I guess if Naruto befriended one side, I guess he would, you know, he would know if that makes sense. I don't know anyway. God, it doesn't even make sense, but I guess Kurama's Yang side just knew he was friends with Naruto now. I guess when Naruto befriended Kurama, it kind of counted for Minato as well. So he was like, you know what, Minato, we can do this too since I did it with your son here. But how do y'all explain the sage mode? Because Minato did not know how to do that before. I promise you he did it. Unless Minato is just that much of a genius, he learned it from seeing Naruto do it once. I don't know. Did he learn it from just seeing Naruto do it one time? And he's like, oh yeah, that's how you do it. All right, boom. I don't even know. Y'all got away with that. Y'all did get away with that. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry, bro. Something that is a hard piece of evidence in his quest to reclaim his birthright. The Shinjutsu telling people he's not Naruto's son that's never gonna go away until the Shinjutsu is reversed. But as Ada told us in the first chapter of Boruto 2 Blue Vortex, it's easier to create new events and memories than it is to convince people that what they remember is actually a fallacy. Boruto having stage mode is going to start some conversations in the village if there are those who see him using that power. Narratively, you also address a big elephant. Oh, yeah. Boruto does, yeah, does. stage mode, which is that it makes it the Momoshiki problem a lot easier to control. A common misconception that a lot of fans still have to... Hey. <laughs> Them boys in the village, they cannot deny the facts for much longer. I I'm just saying, they cannot deny the facts. It's cold, hard facts in front of them. They can't deny it for much longer. <laughs> they can't. Because not anybody can master Sage Jutsu. If they know. If they know. Not anybody could do it. Kawaki sure can't do it. He doesn't have enough base chakra. I firmly believe Boruto does. He has enough. And that's excluding his karma. But since omnipotence just forces everybody just to be dumb, hey, it's not gonna happen. To this day, is that Momoshiki can't take over Boruto's body anymore, which is absolutely false. So this is not me with head cannon. This comes from the fact that people saw Momoshiki revive Boruto from death and Momoshiki say that he's lost his vessel as a means to resurrect inside of Boruto's body. When Kashin Koji killed Jigen, who literally had Ishiki Otsutsuki literally physically inside of his body controlling Jigen, Ishiki was resurrected using Jigen's body because the karma had already been extracted onto Jigen. Momoshiki only lost the ability to resurrect using Boruto's body. But under the right circumstances, hey, I didn't say Momoshiki could resurrect. Now we know he can't, but can he take control of his body? It says he can still hijack his body as the dominant personality. Maybe yeah, when Boruto's chocolate levels, he can probably control, hijack his body. Momoshiki can take over. Sage mode mastery means that Boruto has mastered meditation and now has a calm sense of mind. He's in better control of his emotion. A stronger sense of mind and a stronger spirit makes it harder for Momoshiki to take over. It does Master make harder. Sage it does. Means it does. Boruto is Not lying. using his own chakra Told merely to balance out the nature energy that he's drawing in, which due to the massive increase that the karma still gives the user, since a true mastery of karma, means they have access to a large chunk of the chakra of the Osusuki who gave them the karma seal, the amount of nature energy that Boruto could draw in would far exceed anything Naruto was able to do due to the enormous chakra levels that Momoshiki has compared to Naruto without Kurama. And like I said, we've seen it from the fight, Delta versus Naruto. It's harder to absorb Senjutsu. Senjutsu is just superior to regular chakra in so many ways. It's harder to tank it, it's harder to recover from it. We've seen that from Tentails Obito. Sanjutsu was the key to defeating him because you can't recover from it as quick. So Boruto being able to take in twice as much nature energy as Naruto makes his Jutsu that much stronger if he can master it and become a perfect sage. So at that point, you have your karma, right? You get the ant from your karma. You're able to use all five chakra natures and you're able to amp it with Senjutsu to use it against the Otsutsuki. It's just another weapon that Boruto has at his disposal. You know, I'm now seeing the, I'm seeing the vision, bro. I'm seeing the vision now. I think he should go for it. I think he should. And you can link Senjutsu to Uzuhiko because the fact of the matter is, you could say that Rasengan is just nature energy. It's made of nature energy because of its ability to mimic the earth's rotational force and imbue it into the Rasengan you can say you need nature energy to do that. And then Kishimoto could work around that and just keep building upon that. So now not only can Boruto master mostly any jutsu, but he can take it to a level which we never seen before, like ever. It's Koji and Sasuke's job to make Boruto as overpowered as possible for the upcoming threats. So if that means Boruto learning Sage Jutsu and learning how to hone his karma to a point where he can use it on command. All for it. Go for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's stopping them? And you're talking about stacking chakra at this point. If Boruto were a video game character, his energy bar would be 
already pretty high. But then yeah. you're talking about adding double or triple the amount of energy on top of that. Maybe on top of any jutsu. By adding Momoshiki's chakra on top of Boruto. It would be insane. More nature energy yeah, they, they don't want in, that, bro. And balanced out by Boruto's chakra. <sighs> they don't want that. You. God Which damn. extension makes the sage mode even stronger because of the enormous amount of nature energy Boruto's now yeah. allowed to take in. And that's why I said Boruto has way more potential to not only perfect sage mode to its highest capability but to take it to a whole nother level can't wait to see what they do allows for a more viable option for boruto to avoid depleting his own chakra levels while also giving him access to more jutsu and fighting styles by using nature energy it's actually pretty scary to think of how broken boruto is about to become yes, because yeah, in his base yeah, right now damn. he's already easily damn. stronger than six past qb cloak naruto and rinnegan sasuke yeah. who fought against jigen and then later fought against ishiki sage mode and a karma and no cap. is a nice nightmare to consider scaling and the only nightmare that's even bigger than that is what boruto did to code in the last boruto manga chapter which you can watch here yeah bro um let, i'm gonna just keep it straight if boruto knows sage jutsu um kawaki's not touching him code it doesn't matter what code does at this point he's not touching him now if y'all want to argue boruto's too overpowered y'all better hope he doesn't have sage mode because at that point who's beating him who I mean, if he could take Sam Jutsu to a whole nother level, probably to a point where it's just impossible to absorb, then what do y'all have? What is there? It's nothing, because at that point, he just has too many hacks. The only hack that could probably stand a chance against him is Damon's hack, the reflection. And we already uncovered that Uzuhigo could be a pretty good counter to that. So, damn, bro. All right, my brain is going to hurt thinking about this, and I can go on for hours. And that's something I need to work on, bro. I need to work on just rambling and yapping on for hours because I know y'all don't want to hear that. So I think I'm going to end it off here. And if you guys want to talk about it or if it comes up in the stream, maybe today or tomorrow, we could talk about it then. But <laughs> for now, I'm going to just leave it at that. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you are new. Like I said, turn on the post notifications so you guys don't miss the live on Chapter 4 Leaks. Also, Leave a like on this video, Naruto Explained. His channel link will be in the description below. And until my next video, I'm out. Peace. I need an outro like this, bro. That's crazy. Who wanna make me one?